Well, good morning. Welcome to this uh, video of this project. We are on site of a new pond rebuild. Here in State College, got this massive rock waterfall. He wants to tear this out and uh, put in our naturalistic koi pond. We're gonna be stacking that natural stone wall back against the house, tearing out that massive rock pile there and putting in our own thing. It's gonna be quite the wall to build there. So, goal for today is to tear this all out, fill it in with topsoil, and start from the beginning. This was a classic um, fail, I guess is the simple way to put it. Uh, we had a pond that was installed in here with, I mean like, I don't know, 10 feet high, um, kind of a, a ladder staircase style waterfall, which wasn't exactly what the homeowner look, was looking for. So what we're doing is we're tearing it all down and we're hiding that concrete wing wall by extending this natural stone retaining wall here, which is gonna be a challenge. That's some serious height there, but anyway, then we have to kind of build this pond backwards. Normally we'd build the pond first, then work our way up the stream, but because of our one way in and out access here, we're gonna have to get that wall in, set our biofalls and build this stream out, out to about here. And then right here is where the pond starts. And we're building a nice large pond in this area right here. So I wasn't here on Friday when Ben started this job, unfortunately, but uh, I had some meetings with uh, Synced Up the software that we're building for managing landscape companies and managing, managing projects so uh, that's why I couldn't be here on Friday but anyway we are here fresh start on a Monday morning getting ready to kick this thing off goal for today is to be getting this natural stone wall built so we can focus on the water feature tomorrow so that's what uh, we're trying to do now and Valor just showed up here with a load of rocks so let's go out and see what he brought us Have to wiggle around that car there with that load of dirt. All in a day's work. Okay, so we now have all of this, basically have a truckload of dirt piled back into here, tracked it in with our machines. And now I'm gonna be getting that pipe installed right there. That drain pipe, that downspout pipe, I'm gonna run it in here. And then once I have that pipe in there, I'm gonna bury that pipe and start placing some boulders in there. I'm gonna kind of build that up about 18 inches, 24 inches maybe, so that that falls can start back there, fall and kick over this way toward the pond. I don't want that to be just a steep bank there, look like it's kind of propped up or whatever. So I'm gonna get that bank installed. Ben went off to get some more clean stone, then we're gonna start building that wall right there. Hey guys, hot time I give you an update. We've kind of been busy on this natural stone wall. Right here. These guys and them mic bombing my videos. So as I was saying, we've been focusing on getting this wall in. It's a little bit of a trial and error project, but in the end it all came together. I'm happy how it turned out. And we got that out of the way and uh, we're ready to transition to actually building our stream. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, because of our tight access, we have to build the stream first and then the pond. So we're getting ready to set the biofalls up here and we're doing some crazy grade change work here to try to hide that gap of veneer stone where the original grade had been. So um, we're gonna set that biofalls right about where Ben is standing. He is siliconing the fittings in now and uh, hopefully get the framework of this stream knocked out this afternoon yet. And, <laughs> uh, got a different truck and all my GoPro battery chargers are in the other truck. So no GoPro time lights of this day. Sorry guys. All right, you wanna do the mountain goat? Hey Ben, go get me that shovel up there hanging against the stone wall. Wow, are you human up there again? Goat. No, you're, you're, you're oh, walking. I'm human now. Whoa. <laughs> 
So anyway, then we got a really tight corner back there, which makes it really tough to get big, fat, heavy boulders in and out. And it's like one of the, some of these boulders when they're this big, it's kind of like a one shot in and that's your last chance. So what we do before we ever even start building things back there is come out here with the excavator and start like picking out our boulders to kind of figure out a composition and get our couple rocks in place. And what I think I'm gonna do here is go with this composition. So this rock here is a spillway rock. Obviously it's all helter skelter, like it needs leveled up and stuff, but that's gonna be our spillway rock. Left frame rock, right frame rock. This rock here is gonna protrude in front of this sheet coming off of here, which is gonna kick water around into this crevice. And this rock is coming right up against the front of this one. And so that water is gonna come kicking around this point and then have a nice little gurgle right here. Nice big thick rope of water coming over the, that crevice there. So kind of a two tiered waterfall, which takes four, five, six boulders. And I like to kind of play in the sandbox out here where I can try that border now that didn't work, get another one and until I'm happy with the composition. Now that we're happy with the composition, we're gonna go build it. And I still don't have a time lapse, so sorry. We got our uh, spillway rock in place back there and getting the left frame rock put in place now. These things are goonies. No margin for error with these boulders. You are squash if they decide to uh, misbehave. Look, how's it look over there, guys? Huh? What do you think? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That is really cool. I love the way that that rock hides the face of that spillway rock. Once we get the front layers of the rocks in, it's going to be awesome. Now, the next order of business is to get our right frame rock in so we can kind of start stacking up a two tiered waterfall in. But I'm thinking sweetness. We just got these spillway rocks. Well, the spillway rock and the two frame rock in place right here. Frame rock, spillway rock, frame rock. The liner back here. See, right here's where the liner's attached to the face of the biofalls. And uh, it can be a little tricky sometimes when you're setting rock in here. I always wanna make sure that that liner's nice and loose and not stretched tight, because if it's stretched tight, it makes it really easy to create a hole or a puncture or something like that. But anyway, hopefully that was focusing. Looks like it's all whacked up now. So this rock that Ben has strapped up right now, we're gonna place right in front of these two uh, frame rocks. And the idea, right there the idea is as the water spills off that spillway rock it kicks the water to the side and gets us some interesting action you can do a uh, waterfall with just a plain old frame rock frame rock spillway rock but not interesting enough in my book so let's set this baby in That looks stinking awesome. That is gonna be one of the epicest ball kick, kick. Okay, let's uh, talk through what we're setting in here. Still need a little uh, tweaking and stuff, but. Yes. Uh, no red record switch on. Uh, yes. Uh, front black record switch on. Um, is something supposed to be blinking? Um, uh, focus right. Little green light in the left hand corner, check. <laughs> Horizontal black and white line, sun, solar flare, focus, zoom, right. He's an amazing filmmaker. So what we got going here is pretty awesome. I really like how it's coming together. Obviously we got the spillway rock up there. That's all crashing sheet of water coming in and it's falling in behind that border and then shooting around that corner and coming through that crevice right there. It is gonna be really visual, really cool sounding and a lot of action. Can't wait to see that baby run. Just saying, that is how a waterfall is supposed to look. Not like what um, they had. 